What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and over the course of Scrap Mechanic and, and my time playing in Scrap Mechanic, um, I've made a, a fair amount of piston engines since the pistons came out and you know obviously before the pistons we were doing thruster engines and uh, if I spawn one of the old piston engines, hold on before we look at that other one, uh, you know we've got the radial piston engine, we've got an inline piston engine. And you can see there, you know, using some pistons and some controllers to offset them, as well as this sort of piece on sensors as a distributor, you know, we can make piston engines. When I made the video with the piston engines, one of the comments uh, said, you know, what about making a multi-speed piston engine? Because, you know, we, we took a piston engine and I put it on a car and of course it goes at a single speed and you can have a forward and reverse switch that changes the gearing at the back. Uh, but, you know, on a car it goes at a single speed, so there wasn't really much you could do. And, uh, you know, you didn't really have much speed. And then, of course, when I made the cruise control car, uh, that uses five speeds, but that uses five speeds on a, uh, a series of five electric motors. So I decided to spend some time and work on a multi-piston engine and, well, sorry, multi-speed engine, but we use multiple pistons to do that. And so what we've got here is we've got basically this setup of individual pistons uh, as cylinders, but they're stacked. You see there's two of them. Someone's gonna comment and say, you know You shouldn't use pistons here because they're gonna add collision to pistons and when they do the whole design is gonna fall apart And I agree with that But when I first tried doing this with suspension the suspension actually gets pushed by the two pistons and uh, It causes the entire thing to tilt with the suspension glitch and uh, it, it as soon as you even without it on because these pistons are kind of fighting each other um, That's why you see them pulse up and down occasionally it, uh, it sort of causes issues, but we've got one piston on top, which is set to a range of five at a, at a speed of three And then another piston on the bottom, which is set at a range of five at a speed of six So double the speed and then of course, uh, you know We've got the the sensors on this one side with this lovely bar and that's gonna activate with these and gates And so we can turn the engine on slow speed and it'll activate the slow pistons which gives you like, you know, a three speed interval and you know, it works pretty well. You can see it's satisfying that AND gate condition and the engine spins relatively decently with a, a fair amount of power. And then of course we can change it and set it to the high speed. And again, it's spinning a little bit faster than the other one spinning at a speed of six. So, you know, we can do that. And then of course we can actually turn both of them on and get the fastest speed. And that would be spinning at three plus six, so nine. So you can actually get an engine that spins at three different speeds. Uh, just using two pistons and I'm sure you could stack three pistons and make one that has eight speeds because you're just you're just talking really like you know uh, a binary at this point in time so you've got in this case with two bits you've got four states right you've got the zero state the one state the two state and then the three state and uh, so that's that's sort of how this works and with the with three pistons you should be able to do eight states so a zero and then a one through seven speed so of course I decided to to take this engine with the multi speeds and hook it into an actual car so it doesn't really look like a car um, and it, you know you can see here we just have front wheel steering no uh, no drive on that we've got the engine here and then it goes to this back axle now the axle stays straight and we've got two pistons here on this back axle with a really weak suspension piece in the middle and so if we push the one piston we'll engage this one gear and if we push the other piston we'll engage a different gear which gives you forward and reverse uh, and then we've got these little swing arms here, which, you know, you can swing out to act as a, an e-brake or park brake and, uh, you know, to stop the car moving. But this car works with uh, full cruise control and the double speed piston, well, triple speed piston engine and forward and reverse and the emergency brake. So it's uh, it's really quite awesome. And so, of course, to do that, that speed, we've just got the uh, the seat hooked into a controller, which then goes to this piston. And the controller you can see there is just on a, well, unpainted. Let's paint that controller. There we go. The controller is just on a loop, you can see, with a, with a distance set to three. And so as you hold W, it'll extend this out three blocks going through the three different bits. And uh, it'll retract. And so we get something like this. It's not exactly the fastest car. It does have a lot of power behind it. But then we can hit the one switch and, you know, just set the cruise control. And then, of course, you know, you don't, you can let go of it and you know ghost ride the car right just uh hold on here oh get up get up come on get up oh boy that's a treat but i mean you know these cars are awesome i love piston engine cars because they're not exactly as fast as a regular motor but they don't like they have so much power it's it's insane the amount of power they have they're very smooth and they're very oh there's a half pipe there i didn't even explore this map really but uh yeah we can just line this up here pretty straight there we go. Sometimes uh, this car doesn't really have a lot of ground clearance, and it doesn't really have any suspension, so sometimes we'll, we'll bottom out there. Oh boy, oh, I didn't want to do that. No, okay, oh, oh no. 
Come on. No. There we go. That's better. Perfect. That's what I wanted to do. And uh, are we gonna are we gonna tilt over there? Slowly, slowly. Oh yeah. Okay, we'll just turn a little bit. Perfect. And so we can, you know, we can drive straight, no problem. And you can see that that gear on the left is engaged. Uh, because that left piston is extended. We can of course hit the two switch to switch those back pistons and that'll slam the other gear over. Uh, the suspension you can see there does bounce a little bit, but it actually doesn't it doesn't work too bad. The piston seems to keep the gear engaged most of the time. And the nice thing about that bouncing too is if you engage the part emergency brake, you can see there we've got the two bars locking those back wheels in place on that back axle and the piston just kind of sits there and it doesn't really screw up the engine so the engine can i mean this isn't really how a real car works but that suspension piece is almost acting a little bit like a clutch you can see those gears are just bouncing back and forth on the pistons and uh not really not really affecting the engine so let's just turn off the uh, cruise control there and uh let's get rid of those parking brakes we'll uh press the two switch there to switch gears you can see very fluid on the gear switching with the two pistons and uh, we'll just hit the forward switch hold W and uh, good to go so we can we can drive at slower speeds so you can see we can set the cruise control at the second speed or we can uh, you know slow it down even further instead of the first speed right and it'll just troll along there's nothing you know nothing wrong with that I mean it's very slow I tried speeding up the pistons and playing around with the piston configurations and the piston speeds but uh, generally, I found, as I was going through this and experimenting with it, um, you don't want the pistons going too fast because it gets to a point where they just, they never actually reach the speed you have them set at. It just gets really weird with the physics and they kind of just glitch. So if we take the pistons, right, and let's say instead of three, we set this to five and this one to five and five. So all our top pistons are five now. And let's set all our bottom ones to max, which is 10. And so you should have 5, 10, and 15, but uh, you'll see what happens here when we when we get into this. All right, so let's let's just get it locked in first gear. So here's first gear, and this is five, right? And so you can tell, obviously, a lot quicker than the previous first gear. So now let's go up to, to second gear. You see, this is 10, so definitely faster than the first gear, right? And uh, you know, it's still working pretty well. And uh, watch what happens when we hit 15. So you can see when we hit 15, it's actually it's actually not really any different than 10. It's actually kind of like almost slower than 10. You see, like look 15, 10. Like see how there's not really much difference. I mean maybe like the slightest little bit. So here's here's 10, right? I mean not really that quick. And here's here's 15. Okay, you know what? Let's just spawn two cars and put them next to each other. This will probably be the easiest way to tell. Okay, so we got speed number two. Cruise control. Okay, perfect. It's on cruise at speed two. And again, this is with uh, you know total of ten speed. And then let's uh, let's try catching up with fifteen. Is it like I, I don't think it's that much faster? See the pistons just kind of they don't reach their full potential when you're trying to stack them at high speed for some reason. But when you have them at uh, three, six, and nine, there's a very clear differential, and you can tell that there's a much bigger increase in speed. But you see, this doesn't it doesn't seem to increase the speed very much. I don't think we're gaining on that at all. I mean, maybe it's just me, but it doesn't look like we're gaining on it at all. There's no real difference in speed, even though we're activating all the pistons at the same time. And uh, again, I think it's because once they reach that max speed cap, it, it can't physically, I, I don't know really, it can't fight the other piston enough or something. I don't know. All right, so I've changed these cars back to three, six, and nine. So we'll do the same experiment here just to show that there is a much bigger difference. Okay, so we've set this on cruise control two, and we'll just set it going straight there along the, uh, along the Badlands. And then we'll run over to this one. Also set to 3, 6, and 9, and we're going to just crank it up to max here. And and we should catch up. You can see there already a huge difference. We are definitely catching up uh, very quickly. And, well, I mean, it hits a rock too, which doesn't help. But even on a straight section here, we are definitely much faster. Whereas with the 5, 10, 15 configuration, uh, it didn't seem like we were that much faster, if at all. So, overall, though, I'm, I am really happy with this. It's just kind of a weird... I mean, there's no real point to a piston car in Scrap Mechanic, let's be real. Even when they, you know, do come out with survival mode, you can't you can't really see a need for building piston cars. I mean, they have a lot of torque to them, but they are pretty slow and uh, they are overly complicated for what they are. But I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out and I'm glad that, you know, the multi-speed stacking pistons concept at least works, even though it's not the fastest. But make sure you guys hit that like button down below and uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments down below 
what you think of this design and uh, what else could be done with it. I mean, it's pretty cool to have a cruise control car, I'm not going to lie, but again, these piston cars are really slow and, uh, you know, maybe maybe I'll try making a 3-bit 7-speed version, so it's got three pistons on each and, uh, you know, the 0 through 7, but I feel like the more pistons we add stacked, the, uh, the worse this is going to be, but I just think it looks really, really cool. I mean, looking at the piston engine. And again, a really quiet car. They just kind of drive around sort of soft. But make sure you guys hit up that comment section down below. Hit those buttons down below. And uh, make sure you go and check this out on the workshop. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all next time.